All right, this is going to be a complete guide of perfect casting, starting with the very basics of the game. So if you're already familiar with the game, go ahead and skip to this timestamp on screen. Otherwise, let's begin. Perfect casting is basically just a game with 12 people, and the goal is to be the last one alive. And there's going to be a bunch of random events that happen that either give people powers, damage people, kill people, etc. I'll go over the main things that you need to know to maximize your chances of winning later in the video. Anyways, while you're waiting in the lobby for a new round to start, there are three main things you could do the first thing that you could do while you wait is immediately behind the spawn there's an obby back here and after you complete the first little part of the obby you'll be presented with an option to either go left or right and each side that you complete will award you 250 tokens and the second thing that you could do while you're in the lobby is click this customize button right here and after you click this button this is where you'll be able to spend your tokens that you earn by playing the game you could also buy tokens in here by clicking this shop button and going up to here and where you could buy tokens with robux but the things that you can buy include the event items for any current event that's going on, house ornaments, random furniture, house material or color, and pets and death effects. And in this tab, if you buy the game pass that allows you to customize your name, color, and chat, this is where you change that. Later in the video, I'll go over the best customizable options that you could use to help you win more games. One thing I forgot to mention is after you buy five eggs, you can also use it to merge them into a diamond pet egg, which has uh, cooler pets, I guess. And the third thing that you could do while you're in the lobby is access the secret room and to do that first you want to come down here and jump through this painting activate this thing come over here to the vending machine enter this code which is just the shape of a c in the order i did it in come up here and enter the key card thing and then after you do that you'll teleport to the secret room all right now that we have the basic game info out of the way i'll talk about the five most important things you could do one sitting down two paying attention to events three not wasting your items four getting good with jumps and five staying hidden for as long as possible I'm going to explain in depth what I meant by the five things that I listed, starting with the first thing, which was sitting down. And what I mean by sitting down is there's actually items in the game that you can sit on, such as like the sofa or the stool. Those are two items that you can unbox from the furniture crate located here. And the reason why you want to sit down on these things is because if you get teleported, like let's say you get teleported above the void because you swap positions with someone, or you get teleported on top of lava because it's the lava game mode. Well, if you're sitting down, it won't kill you. The lava won't kill you. Actually, I think they changed a lot but a lot of things won't kill you if you're sitting down and another thing you could unbox once you either get the sofa or the stool is the golden toilet which is uh, located in the random house ornaments it's just a lot harder to unbox this another thing you want to buy and from the customized menu is the bay death effect you have like a one in six chance of getting it from a random death effect crate and what this does is if you die you can use your gear still for like another four or five seconds so let's say you have a death note saved up that because you didn't use it because you've been saving it well you could use it real quick and just death note someone that killed you or if you have like a sword and you, you died to someone that you were sword fighting you can hit them a couple more times before you die and yeah it's just extremely useful to have obviously you don't want to be sitting down if something like this is going on where there's a zombie apocalypse you want to like just avoid the zombies and if there's people trying to kill you you want to you can't sit down obviously you have to run away from them other than that always sit down i promise you if you do it enough it will save you so many times the second most important thing to do is pay attention to the events that happen at the top obviously because you want to know if something like a loot crate is dropping death note is spawning so you can be on the lookout immediately and the third thing that i said is not wasting your items and the reason i said that is because look what just spawned the anvil you want to save your items for when an anvil spawns so you can craft the ko sword which is the best weapon in the game i would also recommend not wasting your death note immediately or if an anvil spawns use it on the anvil instead all right so the fourth thing just getting good with jumping from house to house so basically the why why this is so important is for one if you have a weapon and you're chasing someone and they're better at like they could just outrun you and you're too slow you won't be able to kill them or if someone else is chasing you and you can outrun them just by jumping from house to house with ease then you can outrun them and hence they won't kill you since they could just run away or you could just run away forever and fifth is just staying away from people like staying hidden as long as possible i feel like that one is kind of self-explanatory you see as that guy jumped over to my plate it was pretty obvious obvious he's trying to kill me so i just run away from him all right the final thing i'm going to go over in this video is the different game modes of the game so first game mode is your classic game mode just normal horrific casting second game mode is rapid which is just classic but the events happen faster third 
is gear, which is like classic again, except everybody spawns with a gear. And the different gears that you can get include a gravity coil, a speed coil, a regeneration coil, paintball gun, sword, bomb, hammer, rocket launcher, umbrella, and a mine. Next game mode is one plate, which is just self-explanatory one plate. And then two plates is another game mode. Ring, where all the houses are spawned in a ring, and if someone dies, then their house will disappear. You also have one HP, which is just like classic, except everybody has one HP. Scattered, all the houses are separated. Next is bridges, which is just like scattered. All the houses are connected with bridges. And then lava, which is this one right here, which when someone dies, the lava will rise. Next is stack, which will just put all the houses on top of each other from up to down. And then line, where all the houses are going to be side to side. And then if someone dies in that game mode, their house disappears too. And then you got town. It's just a town. And then there's a bean store that you can hide in as well. And you got sweeper. There's a spinner that spins around that kills you if you touch it. And it speeds up as the round goes on. Then you got stud, which is the most boring game mode in the game. So please do not ever vote stud unless you literally just like standing and jumping. Because that's all you can do in that game mode. And spleef is kind of like scattered in the sense that all the houses are separated far from each other and just like randomly placed around the map. But the houses, they're all in the same level. And there's a layer of spleef just like in the lobby. And one thing to note on the spleef game mode is that the tiles will actually respawn within two minutes. Our in the final three game modes are sideways, valley, and blast. And in sideways, all the houses are just tilted on their side. In valley, all the houses are like in a V shape, as you can see in the picture. And then in blast, you have 90 seconds to survive. And whoever's alive at the end of the 90 seconds wins. So you can actually win with multiple people in this one. But it's really hard to survive since an event happens every second in those 90 seconds. All right, that's going to be the end of this video. I'm going to make a part two to this, which will just go over all the different events that could happen in the game and all the different items that you could also get in the game. If it interests you, then go ahead and watch the video because that's why I made it anyways. And if you don't want to watch that, there's another video on screen right now that you could also watch. Hope you found this video helpful and see you guys in the next one.